Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing fractions. This is 4.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 which is a new item type, multiple select, off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this is multiple select. So you see here that we need two correct answers. So they could be any two. Watch what happens if I selected these two and I try to get that third. You see it's thinking about it, but it's not going to let me select three. So it's impossible to select three answers. And watch what happens if I try to go to the next problem with just one selected. It's going to have an error message saying, you have not completed this problem. So there are some nice built-in features here. All right, so with all that technical stuff out of the way, let's open up our graph draw feature. Let's expand it out. Let's make it more transparent. And let's get started on the actual problem. So we've got Pernit completed a science challenge, one and three-fifths hours. Haley completed the same challenge in less time. So which of these could be the amount of time it took for Haley to complete? All right, so uh, we, we need something less than, something is going to be less than one and three-fifths hours. That's our mystery fraction. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. You know what? Even though it is a mixed number, look, everything's got a one in front of it. So let's just deal with the fraction part of it. Let's just deal with the three-fifths because everything is one and something. So let's look at three-fourths and three-fifths, okay? So what we could do here is you can always uh, find uh, the least common denominator if you want to. Or you can always just multiply both fractions. Uh, by the denominator of the other fraction, right? So 3 fourths, I'm going to multiply this by 5 fifths because 5 fifths is equal to 1. It's going to give me 15 twentieths. And I'm going to multiply 3 fifths by 4 fourths. That's going to give me 12 twentieths. I can now compare these because they have the same denominator. And that actually is the least common denominator between the two is 20. And so which one is smaller? Well, the three, this three-fifths is smaller, which means this one's bigger. Uh, this one is larger, this 15, 20, so I'm looking for one that's smaller, so it's not that one. All right, so let's do the same thing with uh, two-thirds and three-fifths. Let's multiply each one by the other denominator. Five-fifths, ten-fifteenths. And by 3 thirds, our least common denominator is 15 this time. And look at this. This one's still bigger. I'm looking for one that's smaller, just barely bigger. But that's not going to work. All right, let's do 2 sixths. 2 sixths and 3 fifths. So multiply each one by the denominator of the other one. So that's going to be 6 sixths. You have to make sure your numerator and denominator are the same, so you're multiplying by 1. That's how you know that you are coming up with an equivalent fraction. If the numerator and denominator are the same, it's just like multiplying by 1, which keeps it the same. All right, now we're in business. Look at this, 10 thirtieths. That's smaller, so I like this 1 and 2 sixths. Let's find uh, 1 eighth and 3 fifths. Oh, that's kind of small. That's a unit fraction. That one might work. 5, 5, 8 over 8. It's going to be 5 fortieths. Oh, yeah, 24 fortieths. Way smaller. Okay, I like these two. Let's just verify that this one doesn't work. 6 tenths, 3 fifths, 5, 5, 10, 10. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. 30 fiftieths. Oops, let's make that 50. 30 fiftieths. Eh, those are already equivalent fractions. So my answer is going to be these two right here. 1 and 2 sixths, 1 and 1 eighth. 